and girls what is going on and welcome back to another episode of Crosley Place Football Manager with me Crosley Place and we are still on the road with Plymouth Argyle this Plymouth Argyle is never going to stop until I win stuff all right now last last episode was obviously crap because we got knocked out of the FA Cup semi-finals which <laughs> is really frustrating really crap really rubbish really annoying really all the things that you just don't really want it to be it wasn't good is what I'm trying to say so we're back today our form has improved, which is good. So without mucking around too much, because this is going to be a long episode, let's make me small and we'll find out how we've done in the last few games since you've been with us. So yeah, since you were last here, we are in 10th place in the league. 36 games played, two more games left, obviously, last two coming up now. Uh, 52 points, which isn't too bad. We are 28 points is what's needed to stay up this season. West Ham, Forest and Wolves are all in the fight to go down wolves looking like they're pretty much relegated it's going to take a miracle for the other two teams i think as well so yeah but we're playing in newcastle we are fighting for a european place 10 points above us in the league so it's going to be a competitive game but we've been in good form lately since you last left us at the sunderland game we lost one nil which obviously at wembley letting everybody down really we did go away to tottenham and win 3-1 which surprising but genuinely fantastic i think sparway was the man of the match for that game he had two assists i tried him out on the left and the last few games he's been really good he grabbed the goal in the game against southampton as we were one nil up and very comfortable and they bagged it thanks to a mistake from andre right near the death and then we went away to fulham and just got a good 2-0 win at craven cottage sparway again with an assist she made with two goals and that put us, like I said, comfortably into 10th position and leads us very nicely onto the Newcastle game and then the Arsenal game as the last game of the season. And then we'll have a little round up and find out how we've done this season, even though it's been quite an, a bang average season. Last season was, you know, OK, we stayed in the league. This season's just been average for being average's sake. And that's kind of been a bit annoying. So without mucking around and zapping too much energy out of the episode because I feel next season I'm going to push on. I'm going to try and make the right transfers and hopefully get us in a place where we can kick on and do some really good things as a team so we'll see how it goes but yeah let's crack on with the Newcastle game and hope we can get a win out of this one I will do all the usual bits name my start and 11 and we shall be right back to go through it in a bit so I think I'm going to go with the pretty much the same start and 11 that I played against Fulham they did play very well together so that's Sanchez and go Martinez Roulat I brought Pinero in for the beak just due to the fact Panero is going to be my, my main centre back for a little while to come Galan, Barrios Emery, Humphreys who's in for the injured Heze, Maduke, Sparaway and then Schmitty up front who's been in great form this season with 31 goals and nobody else has really scored any so thank goodness for Yusuf Um he's got a new contract which is being signed at the end of the season as well, I need to keep hold of him so we will go in and see how we got on at home to Newcastle. So we will say mm, they've given us yeah a lot of credit. We'll pump the fist. That get the boys juice. Second to last game of the season. We need a little bit out of them. The bass hasn't really kicked on and given me much. And we will hope that this defensive pairing can lead us into next season, maybe. Unless I can find someone who blows the socks off me. If I can, then obviously I'll bring him in. So I'm going to drop an encouragement bomb after 10 minutes. I'll give him some, come on boys, let's do this. Oh, and it's brought up something. That knocks it out to Maduke. Cuts it back into our now Emery. Ooh, now we're caught a little bit short. As Joe Linton switches the ball to Hudson Adoy, knocks it across, and that's a great save from Robert Sanchez. Ooh, and Newcastle knock us on the counter attack, which wasn't necessarily what we needed. It makes me wonder do I need to? 
drop us in behind. Oh, but Shamiti's found Maduke. Oh. But it does flop its way out for a corner. So Galanta whip in the corner. Oh, back post and Shamiti just couldn't knock it in. That's unlucky. So half an hour gone. We're having the better of the game, but we're not getting anything on target. I think getting a couple of things on target is important. Obviously, that's how we're going to score goals, though. I think that's where this has let us down this season the most. It's the finishing from the wings. I need the wide men to contribute. Oh, dangerous from Roulette. He got away with it. Humphreys to Galan. Oh, it's weak. But does well to intercept Panero, but weak again. Oh, and we've given it away, and it's our own mistakes. I'll drop some more encouragement straight off. But of, oh, I need to. Sorry, guys. I know I need to do the replays. Allows me to analyse it a bit better as well. I do apologise. Pump this. Right, come on. Give away every display, lads. Panero, who I brought back in, let me down a treat. I'm going to bring on Verbeek. Humphreys just couldn't make the tackle. Barrios, Shimiti. Oh, and Maduke manages down his feet and sneaks through. Oh. Demand some more from all of them. As we've definitely been the dominant team, but again, it's, it's not having that impact in the final kind of outing. Sparrow hasn't quite managed to light the world up in the live stream like he has in the last two but I will give him another five ten minutes at Abelos. I had to bring on Ivan did I? I meant to bring on Abelos. But oh well Christensen. Incho Eco Martinez sends it long. The beak. Rula Emre. Consider football for Margot Humphreys. Tried to find Sparrowway, who made the run, but just couldn't. But Sparrowway does win it back. Shemitty. Oh. I need to try and see if I can feed some more encouragement into them. I want to go attacking as well. It's not really changed a great deal of things this season. So we'll swap out Shemitty for Canate. Spare away for Avalos. Okay, that's all of the subs made. Try and see if we can go a bit more direct and see if that will help anything in the past in terms. So what N looks like Lobotica, Lobotica switches it out. Calivia, so good cross, and he wins the header back. Hudson Adoy knocks it over the bar. I'll demand some more from him. Ten minutes to go. Oh, it's going to be another little letdown in the live streams. We do well off of streams. But in the live streams, we've, we've uh, let everybody down, really. Galan. Emre. Switches it to our now. Galan. That's a nice football for Margot. Barrios. Out to our now. He's got some space to run into. 
wazzes it over the bar. And that's disappointing all round, really. Disappointing. That's the kind of game. I expect to see them all in training. There's a week's to where they're all going to be in training again. I'm not happy losing stupid games like that, especially when we dominate in such a way. We will be back for the Arsenal game, last game of the season. Hopefully, we can get a draw. I'm not expecting a win. And then we'll have a season review, and I'll be out until the Home Park Cup for season five. So, I will see you in a bit. So, gang, we are back for the Arsenal game away. Last game of the season. Little season roundup. See the season out, hopefully, on a good note. Oh, I'll see name I start 11. I'll be right back with you guys. So coming in, not too many changes. I'm only going for Andre and Debast as our two changes. So we'll go Andre, Martinez, Rulat, Debast, Galan, Barrios, Emery, Humphreys, Maduke, Sparaway, and Schmitty up front. And let's hope that we can bag ourselves a half decent result here. Let's do it. Nobody expects us to get a result. Go out there and play with no pressure on you. I do want you to make me proud. Let's give that a wow. Let's go, boys. Let's be getting ourselves a semi-decent result here. Arsenal had the better of the open exchanges. So I'm going to try a little encouragement. And actually, I'm going to just try a little cautious. Because they'll probably have the more of the, of the possession. And if we can break out on them, that won't be too bad. Very quiet first half. Saliva to White, back to Saliva, Odegaard, oh, I thought he was going to nick it, Shemitty was close again. Nice work, Gabriel, hooks it, oh, he, Marquinhos, why didn't, why didn't my centre back go for it, who was it? looking really hard for centre-backs. I think it was Debast. What What was Debast doing? He just kind of walked away from it. Let's try another encouragement. It's a tough game here against Arsenal, so I'm not going to be too hypercritical. Show what we're about in the second half. Faith in my defenders, see if I can just put some juice in my defenders. Because they're playing shockingly bad as a unit. Henry <sighs> loses out. Oh, Humphreys does well to win it back for him. And Sparrow's got some space on the left. He's not blessed with loads of pace. But Duque's picked up a knock. We will change it over to positive. Probably Maduke's last game for us. Don't think I'll look to loan him back next year. Oh, that was a close header. I think it was from Debast. a little bit more across the board as we are playing shockingly bad let's just dribble less we'll just help us try and keep the ball a little bit more oh no look at that back to 
Barrios. Barrios does well, Emery, to the box. Referee's looking at it. He's given a penalty. VAR will check. And it's confirmed. Schmitty, he's missed a few. Scored a couple. And he scores this one. Get in there, boy. Henry. Pinero. Actually, four, yeah. It's a better way for Simeone. Shimitty finishes with a plum. <clears throat> yes, the substitutions after the goal. Oh no, worried. I like right off the off the kickoff. Longer, long Conga, Saliba, Conga, Capriera, straight through. Oh, and play off. Clear it off of the line just. Andre's playing poorly again. Marquinhos, he's been playing with an injury all game, pretty much. Flipped it over. The beat managed to get his head on it. Simeone can't quite, and he can't quite chase that second ball down, but he pressures White, Saliba. Oh, it's a lovely ball through to Marquinhos. Oh, Marquinhos will ball in, but it's a great block from Roulat. I'm sure that was from Roulat. It's Andre Gavis from the corner and does well. Mm, I wonder what an encouragement will do. 15 minutes to go. We are out of subs. Instructions will go. I'll actually just turn that off. And then, yeah. Just leave it as that kind of a little bit. Let it play out. Arsenal the free kick thorn. Oh, and Andre managed to stretch and get there. It was a great save from the young goalkeeper. Thorn then with the corner. Oh, and it's a great ball to the back post and Andre tips it over. Two great saves in a couple of minutes from the youngster. And then he gathers again, does well. The draw here is looking quite nice. lose apart from the game but it's not going to see us out too much I'm interested in that thorn dude he looked like a little set piece wizard coming in off the bench but yes that is a great result at one all I am really really happy with that brilliant this average draw I am proud so we were given 19.1 million for a mid-season finish we were looking like relegation strugglers indeed we were it was a very if he start to the season, that's for sure. Haaland wins top goal scorer with 27. Schmitty finished second with 26. So that's pretty, pretty impressive. One assist. Ollie Watkins, in fairness to him, seven assists as well. So that is pretty good all round. Schmitty wins Young Player of the Year. Our initial budget going into next season is 56 million, which isn't too bad at all. So that's a lot more than it was. It's season before so that's good that's gone up not a bad budget at all that'll give us plenty of to work with and hopefully improve defensively first off i think so end of season review for 25 26 season four new arrivals they're happy with a few soderberg as you get him from cranebridge he was a bargain i think he'll go on to be okay i might loan him out next season we will see what goes on with him they're happy with barrios as well Galan did well once he come in. He's going to do okay for us and stay solid next season. Andre, 
Borders a bit disappointed, but yeah, he is going to develop into a leading player for us. Zoya Henry was great on loan, and if I can manage to get him in again, I think I will definitely look to get him in. Sanchez, I'm, I regret a little bit, but he was solid near the end of the season when Andre was having a bit of a bit of a flappy time. Maduke was great. Well, he was okay. 28 games, five and five, not great. He was okay. We 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 needed better, really. Pinero, I think, is going to go on to be a world class defender. So I'm I'm really happy with him. Calvin Ramsey on loan. He did a job. He did a job. Put it that way. Verbeek as well is going to go on to be a really decent player in the next few years. So not a bad deal at 12 million. And hopefully even if he doesn't go on to be a player for me later on in the future and play lots, there should be some good resale value there. Kanati was okay on loan. One goal, one assist. Nothing special. Uh, Melitek was decent. I wonder if he's progressed as much as I'm hoping. Yeah. I think he's going to keep on getting better, but he's not quite going to reach that potential I was hoping he was going to. So we will see what goes on with him. If there's any money to be made, I might just see if I can make it. Seth van der Berg came in, did a job. Wasn't terrible, wasn't great, but did a job for me. Simeone, likewise, did a job. Three goals in all competitions. Goals were our, were our real, real stumbling point. Abelos, again, a player I was hoping was going to do good, but didn't really progress as much as I was hoping he was going to and Zabast really really did shit when he came in regretting that signing loads at 21 million he was Namdi Collins replacement maybe he can go on and get better I don't know maybe I won't give him the time to find out and I might end up selling him before so we will see what goes on with the Bast so the results the board are really happy attempt to avoid relegation which we did we finished in 11th our average attendance was up 26,000. That was because we were at Ashton Gate. Shimmy got 26 goals. We finished in 11th place overall, minus two goal difference, which is a little bit crap. And yeah, that run there at the start of the season, Norwich to Tottenham. Man, forget that Arsenal game. Don't even bother with it. It's absolutely shocking run. It was absolutely terrible. And then we kind of evened out and got ourselves in a good place come the end of the season as people started to progress and get a bit better so hopefully they'll maintain that and we can keep on moving into next season our biggest win was only 3-0 the match to remember was 3-1 early on against Arsenal we had Heze sent off as well and the goal of the season was Schmitty a top draw strike a top draw strike shall we have a look at the goal so it's one of these two goals, because he scored two goals in this game. So which one is goal of the season for us? Apparently not this one. As Tuna manages to finish. Maybe not that one. The pass was nice. Could it be for the pass? It has to be the first one, right? Wow. Either way, shit goal of the season. Looking on the finances, everything went up. Sponsorship went up from last from this is first season in the Premier League. We're now national level, so we'll try to improve the reputation of our club. A little bit more during the preseason as well. Shirt sales. Shimiti did max out on the shirt sales. Total merchandise 2.1. So looking good there. How we lined up. That was probably our best squad. What the computer thinks going in. And yeah, I would agree with it to a point. Maybe near the end of the season. Sparaway has come in the last five games. But yeah. So no accolades for me. Fans player of the season was Shimiti. Young player of the season, Shimiti. Signing of the season was Andre. Goal of the season to Shimitti. Top goal scorer Shimitti. Most assists was Humphreys with nine. Most man of the match was Shimitti with eight. Average rating of 7.2. And the beak had the most passes. Namdi Collins did end up being our forced record transfer out at 22 million, but that was more the fact of they hit his minimum release fee and there's nothing we could do about it. And that spending the season was the making of Plymouth. Thanks to a great run of results in the middle of the season, Plymouth enjoyed a successful campaign. I agree with that. Dynamic timeline, I am not bothered about. Wilfred Zaha's contracts expiring, that's quite interesting. 
but it was more interesting last season. So players and that's the best 11. I'm not really fussed about any of that. So gang, I think for another season, we will leave it there. I think we've done okay from where we started to where we've ended. I think it's been okay. It's not been the best season, not been the worst season, but yeah, I can't moan about it. We've got a good budget to go into next season, see how we can improve and make us much better. I'm going to go on the hunt for some youngsters and some, some potential talent and hopefully Premier League ready talent is what I'm mainly going to look for. So let's make sure we get them and get ourselves into a position where we can kick on and have a much better season next year. So yeah, thank you very much for watching season four. There will be a mega cut of this. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, share the video, all of the rest of the stuff you know what to do. It's so much love from me and we will see you for the home park cup. I'll be back for the Home Park Cup and a roundup of where we are, what transfers we've got and where we are up to the point in that and everything that's gone on up until that point of the Home Park Cup. So I will see you at the Home Park Cup, which I don't know, maybe we can win this year. We've not won it in the two years we've set it up. So who knows? Maybe this year we could just win it. So much love for me. Peace. Mm -hmm.